nitpick. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Banjo Kazooie. Uh, good to be back on the series again. I literally just got done with um, college, so I should be having a lot more time here. Oh, don't you fucking die! I'm so tired of that. I should be having a little bit more time here to record not only episodes but record actual. Um, goodness gracious! I we're getting our. Whoa, there's bugs everywhere. We're getting our uh, our floor repaired upstairs, and so like there, it's really really loud upstairs right now. Um, okay, so we're kind of in a different area now. We got through Bubble Gloop Swamp last time. By the way, if you didn't see that episode, um, be sure to go back and check it out. Those the last two episodes were a lot of fun. Oh, looks like uh, this vase has some kind of cool stuff on it. And there's uh, as if you can't tell right here, there's like a an Egyptian. Oh my God! Whoa, whoa, their camera. What, what the fuck? Okay, the camera's jacking up. That's not the that's not the video jacking up. That's the camera. Okay, I can break down that wall, and we should be able to go through here. And we're gonna completely trounce this guy because he's really on. What's this? A switch. Let's see what this does. Oh, that creates that switch. Okay, cool. Let's go in there and check out what's in there. Um, I have this terrible freaking uh, cold sore on the inside of my mouth. It's just terrible. I fucking I hate cold sores so much. But, uh, yeah, so we got done with Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh, it's a, it's like a different area, obviously. Oh! So there we go. I got that puzzle piece that I, um, I had totally forgotten about that puzzle piece, to be completely honest. Uh, last episode, I forgot to get it. Um, but what I did get is, uh, the, uh, honeycomb pieces. I, actually, I got everything in that stage. I hit the switch and everything, so we got all that crap taken care of. But yeah, um, I, uh, I'm in college. Uh, I'm in my junior year, but, uh, uh, I, I'm gonna have, obviously, I'm gonna have the winter break here really fast, and so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to pump out a couple videos here during December, like big videos, not just like playthroughs, obviously. But, uh, that's the plan in December. There's an Inca Boca, Inca Boca, <laughs> a mumbo token back there. Uh, okay, so here is, this, this right here is the next area that we need to go to, right? As you can see, it's blocked off, just like Bubble Boop Swamp, and I can't walk in here. Hear the music change? Tell me that's not fucking cool. That's I love that so much about this game. Like the whole the whole theme change thing is you like walk around, see like it's gonna go away. See, now we're back to normal grunty theme. But I just I love that so much about this game. Like the different the changing themes and stuff like that is just so clever. I think I need to go through this note door to get to the next area. It's been a while, but uh, I think this is it. See, 400 notes. Okay, I need three 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 fifty to get in here, but uh, this should be it. <laughs> Let's go in. What are, you bow what are you bowing down for? I'm the one who did the work, you idiot. Anyways. I think this is where I need to be. Oh, man, it's really hard to see in here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so we have a new area to place all our puzzle pieces in, which we'll press, press Z. Hey, look, there's like a banjo. Uh, a, ba a banjo. I can't see my finger. There's like a, ban there's like a banjo thing. Here. It's cute. Gobi's Valley. I love the names of these stages. Um... I love everything about this game. I don't think there's anything I don't like about this game. About these games. And over here, I think, is sort of a couple areas that we can't really go to yet. So let's let's check it out anyways, though. Whew. It's in my throat. Um, so we have a graveyard, and as you can see, the theme has changed yet again. Uh, to a more spooky theme. The, uh, the... Music director for these games, Grant Kirkhope, did a fantastic job with the music on these games. He just did such a good job. If you're out there watching Grant Kirkhope, it's uh, for one, it's an honor to have you watching. But uh, for two, congr congratulations for being one of my favorite video game composers. You did you did a great job on these games. But um, all right, so we're leaving this area because there isn't really anything we can do right now. But <laughs> excuse me, we are. Going to head to uh, back to Gobi's Valley because I don't think there's anything else we can really do until we really just do some stuff in Gobi's Valley. And I like Gobi's Valley anyway; it's cool. Um, I actually have this uh, the music for Gobi's Valley set as the ringtone one of my friends' ringtones. What? Do we just have to take the damage of walking on the? I thought there was some boots somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Oh, so there's boots over there. Only we sand eels can survive. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, look, it's another fairy. If you don't remember the fairy, uh. Grunty's best friend at which school was the awful Saggy Maggie. Alright, cool. Saggy Maggie, best friend. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. 
Hey Banjo, you're looking glum. It must be hard being so dumb. I knew she was gonna say that. Okay, next one. I was sipping a glass of her favorite smooth elephant, smoothie elephant sweat. Oh. Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Oh yeah, I forgot she. I forgot she's like the great fairy in Zelda. She just restores all your health. Okay, so I have boots to get back across the sand once I leave this place. Um, I don't. I remember. I remember where one honeycomb piece is in here, but I don't remember where the other one is. So poop on me. You'll find one more move in here, Bandro. All right, good deal. Thank you, Mr. Mole. Uh, I can only carry 50 feathers, I think, so I'm just completely wasting everyone's time. No, I think there's a Jinjo back here. Oh, no! Chunker wants rain. Grass, I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, Bark Breath? <laughs> what, did she just say that? <laughs> Kazooie, boy. <laughs> no, cough. Need water. Help. Okay, so here's a Jinjo back here. Oh, that was a really easy first Jinjo. I love the music in this stage. Oh, God! I didn't want to go. I didn't want to leave the stage. <laughs> I thought I was about to do that. I will take invincibility feathers whenever I can get them. Okay, so this is a new development right here. As you can see, uh, these guys used to just give out honeycombs, but now when you uh, try to kill them for their honeycombs, they, uh, the bees will start chasing you, which is sort of like a, I don't know, sort of like a Zelda chicken sort of thing. But, uh, but yeah, you have to look out for the hand here. He likes to follow you around. Oh, god dang it. I need to get all the music notes, you stupid. This is like a, this is. I wasn't gonna make this a 100% playthrough, but I'm starting to think that I might as well because. Look, I've gotten like everything in every single area so far. Now there is one stage that it's very, very hard to get everything in, and we're not there yet, obviously. But it's one of the it's one of the last stages in this game, and I cannot fucking stand. I just keep building up. I keep building up this stage. You watch every single episode of this playthrough so far. You'll know that I've been building up this stupid stage. Oh my god, I hate it so much. Ah. Okay. Uh, that's done. So let's jump back to the back here. Do a little backflip, grab some feathers real fast. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so... Oh, it's, as you can see, there's a gold feather down there, if you can see it. Um, I think I need to go over here, actually. Oh, uh, right. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. Grab the mumbo token. I don't think there's a trans- No, there's not a transformation in this stage. My nose is all blocked up. Okay, well, I'll get that for you. Oh, well, I'll try to get that for you. Oh my god! Aim, nitpick, aim! Aim, John! Hey, that tickles. Okay, I'm guessing that means I got that side. I don't. I'm guessing that means it's unblocked now. Let's use this one. See this. Okay, there we go. Oh, I thought he was gonna give me a jiggy when he freaking sneezed. What a jackass. Oh, butt clear drinks his nose. Come on in. Yeah, hell, why not? I'm right at the beginning of the stage. Might as well do it. It, it can. I can. I can add this to my checklist of things that I've that I've done so far in the Banjo Kazooie universe. Okay, so. Okay, so obviously we have little turds there that want to get fed. Let's see if there's anything over here on the other end, because I know this game has... Yep. That's what we call draw distance, ladies and gentlemen. And get the hell away from me. <laughs> Fuck off, man! Okay, I think... I have all the notes. I, I, there might be two notes on these sides. I didn't... I'm guessing there is. They like to keep things... Yeah, I was gonna, they like to keep things even in these games. So there we go. We got our two notes there. Eh, hey, get up there! Ah. Oh. I have to backflip up on there. Okay, so let's start feeding. Oh, don't fall off, you derp. Okay. Man, if I could just fucking aim, I'm just so terrible at it. Okay, up we go. Oh, there's something back here. Oh my god. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> oh, the sound effect it makes is cute. Okay, so up we go on that. Can I get away with this? Get it, get it. Oh yeah, boy! Oh, I, I barely made it on the carpet that time. I like these. I like these Aladdin carpets. This is very cool. This is a very cool themed world. I like this world a lot. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, there, there's definitely nothing because they were not letting me stay up there for long. Oh wow, I actually got that. I don't think I quite got that. Thank you though, game. Holy shit! <laughs> get the puzzle piece. <laughs> 
That's supposed to say Jinjo. Get the puzzle piece, Jinjo. <laughs> okay, so we got our first puzzle piece in this world. Not too awfully bad. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that beautiful music. See, okay, so you can even hear it within the levels themselves, like the music the musical change and now we're back to the normal music so in there we had like the slowed down like and out here we have like the normalized version I just I don't know it was so kick ass oh I think this might actually be a level where I have to come back to it later yeah I'm pretty sure this is a level I have to come back to it later that sucks or is it hmm I'm trying to remember, um, this might actually be a level I have to come back to later. Because I think I was I might I might have supposed to have gone to a different level first. Oh, the movie recording stopped. One second. Okay. Get back to that. <clears throat> there we go. Was I supposed to go to a different level before this? I think I might have actually I think I that was actually wow, I, yeah. I think I was supposed to go to a different level before this. Well we have uh okay. Is that timed to get that? Oh no, it's just there. Alright, cool. Well, I know how to get that anyways. Oh, hello! I see you. Okay. Because I think there's... Yeah, I'll just come I'll just come back to this level. Oh my god, my back is effing killing me. Sorry, guys. Oh no, Johnny, your back's always fucking killing me every single playthrough you do. That's actually true. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do a little flip up here, get this note. So awesome playing this game. I love doing playthroughs so much. This is just so kick-ass. Um, I don't enjoy my Bioshock one as much though, but uh, this is fun. This this game is fucking awesome. Uh, fuck off, hand. I kind of just want to use the invincibility so I can just kill it. Okay, so we have the shoes here, which I don't have yet. Which I'm trying to remember where I get the where I get Mr. Mole at to get those shoes. Oh oh oh! I think I know. Let's go. Fuck off, little. Beetle fucker. <laughs> Don't deal with your ass. Okay. Yep. Okay, so let's get all these. Please don't miss one, Kazooie. That would be a huge pain in the ass. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're good. I think there's actually... Oh, yeah. Okay, I can't get that. Grabba's got a jiggy. Good job, grabber or grabby or whatever you do. Fuck you, beetle. Go to hell. You know what? I'm gonna fucking wreck your ass now. I didn't even I didn't even hit him! <laughs> I didn't even hit his ass. That was weird. Uh okay, so is there anything up here? Hey look, there's the mole! Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bottles! Give me a new move! Well, these are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. Yep. I do have to come back to this world later. I totally forgot about the uh, other stage. Um, so what I'll do... Probably next episode. I'm, I guess probably next episode. Hello. Hello, Mumbo. Okay, now there's a couple things I can do. Does this switch automatically go down? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this this switch opens up the top thing, but um, I have to use these running shoes to get up there. Oh god! Okay. Because um, Banjo and Kazooie aren't fast enough. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do first. Oh, I jumped all the way across it. Got the Mario long jump going on. Holy shit! Yeah. No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done! Grunty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Oh, I see what she's saying. She's saying that, no, the what I have isn't good enough. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see, Grunty. We'll fucking see. Alright. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We obviously need to go into this area, so let's grab the running shoes. And just... Fuck off, Okay, so... Oh, I even ran- I even ran forward a little bit. Okay, okay, stop showing me the opening, I know it's opening. Um, I like- I like how- oh man, I hate it when games do that. This game- this game is notorious for doing that. Like, um, they'll show you what's going on. Oh, give me that note. Yeah, boy! Oh, come on! 
Get up there! Get up there! You stupid! Get up there! the proof. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. There's no way. Oh, I made it! Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Okay, so what do I get in here? Okay. Oh, hey, there's a Jiggy. Nice. Um, well, let's get all this... Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get the Jiggy first. What the hell's with the eyes on that thing? Obviously, there's a face at the bottom here. What? Give me the fucking... Damn it! And the Jiggy, for some reason, opens the door. What is this? Oh, maybe it's like Indiana Jones where, like, he removes the... He removes, like, the sand. That's awesome. God, this game is kick-ass. Like, Indiana Jones. That's gotta be an Indiana Jones reference where he removes, like, the, uh, the idol or whatever. And then, uh, the weight from it causes... Oh, hello. I'm not dealing with your ass. I think that's all that's in here. I, I wanna say... Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, moving on. <sighs> Alright, so we have water, we have now have water that filled up this, uh, bottom area, which, I guess you didn't really see it before, but it was filled with sand, like the poisonous sand or whatever. I guess it's the, I guess the sand's so hot that, uh, oh, I want those notes. Please. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get all the notes in this stage. I should be able to get all the notes in this stage. I want to say I can. I'm not sure. Hello, Jinjo! I didn't know there was a Jinjo down here, but that's a fucking nice surprise. I'll always take that. Oh! There's more! Okay, what the hell? I thought I got all of them, because it, like, wasn't... Was there something I was missing? That is weird. Okay, well, moving on. Let's see if there's... How many fucking notes am I missing here? Okay, that should be all the notes. I think. Okay, so... <sighs> Come on, get up. Alright, so we have a new development here. Oh, no we don't. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. There's obviously flight pads down there that I didn't get to get to. Uh, but that's okay. Hello. Hello! Somebody's hungry! Get in there. Oh. One egg isn't enough for you, you fat little dick. Okay, I like that. So cute. Okay, so as you can see, me feeding him is for some reason causing a pyramid to rise, and now we have another guy that we have to feed. So let's get over there and feed him. Oh god, don't fall in the water! No. I'm glad this isn't timed. Oh man, I hate timed stuff in games. I'd rather just take my time and really enjoy the game. Okay. So, here we go. One. Two. Three! Oh, I missed. Three! Yeah, it totally went in like, it totally went in like his eye. I mean, like, this is the very side of his mouth, but whatever. It works. Makes me happy. Okay, and we have another one to feed. Okay, so let's go over here and feed him. And let's get caught, let's get, uh, let's get caught on the ledge there. Right. Get him. Oh, that, that was a tiny platform. Oh, I'm, I'm right up in his face. Yeah, you better give me that food. I'm broken. Stop in, boy. Man, my boys down, my boys down the hood, man. They ain't give me no food, man. I don't know why I said that. Whatever. <laughs> uh, delightfully random. Let's play uh, quips. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, we have some more notes to get here. And oh, just a second. Oh. I'm messing up my foot. My foot fell asleep. <laughs> this is the worst time for my foot to fall asleep. Okay. So let's uh, talent trot up here and grab all this crap. I think there's actually something at the top of this pyramid. We'll take a look here. If I remember right. Oh, there's okay. There's a there's a mumbo token. I keep kind of keep wanting to call them Eek and Bogum totem, totems, but they're not. They're 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 mumbo tokens. Okay. Let's go in. I think this I think this area is pretty crazy. If I remember right. I think this is the maze. Okay. This is King Sandy Butts tomb. <gasps> Turn back or face his wrath. Okay, now, if I remember right, this area has, like, a Jinjo in it, and... Um, I just have to find my way through it. Uh, so we got some, we got some inv invincibility feathers there. Now, I think this, I, I believe, if I remember right, I, oh man, I, this, this area effed me over so many times as a kid. But, uh, I'm pretty sure they give you more than enough time to get through here, if I remember right. Fuck off, mummy weirdo. Mm, 
Do they give me more than enough time to get through? <laughs> like, I think they give me more than enough time to get through here. Uh, fuck balls. I don't think, uh, am I gonna make it? Fuck off. Okay, good, I think I might make it. Alright, so I have to come back in here and find the rest of the stuff. As you can see, no. The bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. You're damn right I am. As long as it's a jiggy. Let's go in these pots and see if there's anything in here. Oh, oh I ended up getting a jiggy in here anyways. I think you I think you get a jiggy in this area, but I get a jiggy in here anyways. Um Okay, let's check out this one. Oh good, a mobo token. And a jiggy. So is that the third one or fourth one? I think it was the fourth one, right? Fifth one. God, why do I always lose count of these? Whatever. Cause you're a retard. Oh, oh, oh alright, yeah. Um uh, I swear there's a honeycomb piece in this area. <sighs> God dang it. I'll never remember I'll never remember the freaking honeycomb pieces, man. I just derp I just derp left and right all the time. Now I have to go back in here because I believe there are uh, things that you have to get in here. I think there's notes. If I remember right. Well, there's feathers. I don't need those though. Uh, maybe over here? Maybe over here there's notes? Oh, I swear to god there's notes in this actual maze. Well, there's an extra life. That's nice. I'm gonna go back and reset my time really fast. If I go the right way. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna see. Okay, so I explored sort of like the left side. We'll explore the right side. See, if you go back here, the timer goes away, and now I can come back, and the timer is Ah, oh, did you see it? I saw it. It was There was a grunty switch. Okay, that's what it was. Uh, there's a grunty switch over here in like the very far corner. Make sure there's no... Okay, there's eggs right there. All right, not a big deal. Okay. Oh, okay, and now we have a puzzle piece that opened up in a little uh, banjo sarcophagus, which I'm not sure why they have a banjo sarcophagus, I don't know. I, I guess I just don't get it. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's Gruntilda's, it's Gruntilda's layer, so I mean, I guess, I don't, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's... I think that might be it. I think that's probably it. Okay, so, I, I, I don't know. I'm... I could be missing notes. If I end up missing notes at the end of the, uh, like, at near the end of the stage, I will, uh, I'll just come back and grab them. By the way, uh, I'm not going to be able to get all the jiggies. I think I'm gonna be, get, I'm gonna be able to probably get all of them but one. Oh no! Movie recording, no! Um, I think I'm gonna be, probably be able to get all of them but one. But, uh, and, I gotta be honest, I don't remember where the heck that, uh, um, Oh, oh, I think I might remember where it's at. Okay. <sighs> Shit, how do I give the how do I give the tree? Oh yeah, the camel. Okay, 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 okay. Is there something up here? Oh yeah, see that's 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 part of the jiggy I can't get right there. So um I need to get on that. Magic carpet or whatever. Magic carpet ride whole new world. That's actually topical. <laughs> um Okay, well I can't reach that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna fly and we're gonna try to go and get the uh, um, the honeycomb piece. <laughs> come on, brain. You gotta work with me. Okay, so up here, this is fun. I, I love seeing. Oh, hello. Maybe I don't need. <laughs> I almost fucking landed on that by accident. Maybe I don't. No, I do need it. I do have to. I do have. Yeah, I have to go to a different stage to get uh, a different move. Oh my god! Fly through it, stupid! Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Okay, well I doubt it's really that simple, my friends. But that would be awfully nice. Yeah, I was gonna say I saw you come up here over here near the pyramid. I mean the pyramid. Actually, what are those things called? If you guys can let me know in the cough. <laughs> the coffin section. Man, I am fucking derping all over the place today. Oh my god. If you can let me know in the comment section. Let's see where the next one is. Uh. Okay, I think that's over here, I want to say. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Fly up, fly! No, 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 don't die! And. 
that's over back behind the giant, uh, what the hell are those things called? If you guys can see over there in the, like, rightish corner of the screen right now, there's, like, a little entrance. That was actually, uh, originally going to be part of the game, but they ended up removing it. So, it's kind of a cool, it's like kind of a cool little, uh, banjo trivia there for you. Um, only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Uh, I knew it! I knew it was gonna be on top of that thing. Okay, so that's the sixth one? Sixth chicken? Yeah, I do have to come back here after I go to a different stage. Which, by the way, the next stage is a lot of people's favorite stage in the game. I don't know if it's mine. Um, I do like it quite a bit, but the I believe I know where I'm going next time. But yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, so we have six now. Yes, that was the sixth one. And now I'm gonna try. Now I'm gonna try and go and get the uh, see that see that target up there. I can't mess with that right now. So think of think of it like I have seven jiggies. But next episode I'm gonna have to come back here. <sighs> Fuck. What else do I do after this? I have all the gingos. Okay, I need to go over in this area. How the hell are you getting there? Where is that? Uh, oh, I need to go over there too. Okay, so I do have a couple areas I need to go to. Oh, I didn't got that the first time. What was that? Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't know what that- you feel, I felt the ground shaking, I didn't know what was going on. Ah, oh, okay, 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 this is it, this is it. There we go, so I freed this guy. Bear, just do hard for me! Here's your reward, Bear! Gobi's off to cool down! Okay, that's my best Gobi voice, that's the best Gobi voice I can do. Um, so we're gonna- okay, so there's seven, so think of it like I have eight, so I have two more to get in here. I just have to wait for, uh the magic carpet to come around here. Come on, let me on! Let me on! Don't fall- You fucking ass! Let me up! What a freaking asshole! Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so it goes through the destination, disappears, then reappears, then- I don't know, what the hell ever- I don't know what the hell's going on, so- No, you don't! You ain't tricking me again! Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go over here, because I think this is actually where I need to go next, to be honest. Isn't there something up here at the top? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so... I think, what weird thing about this, yeah, I was gonna say, weird thing about this switch is it opens the door right underneath you, and for some reason it still has a fucking countdown. I always thought that was the weirdest thing, playing through this, as a kid. Being like, well, the door's right underneath, I don't see why there's a countdown. Oh yeah, this is the matching game. Okay. So, oh shit balls! I don't know where the rest of these know. Oh fuck me! I oh my god! Okay, you're gonna be really annoying. So I'm gonna be ready. <sighs> I should have just not done this stage. Man. Holy shit! That was a complete. I did not know know that at all. That's kind of awesome. Okay, so I gotta match everything up. Um, gotta remember where everything's at. Okay, Mumbo Head was right here. So we got that, um, uh, Kazooie head I haven't found yet. Okay, uh, note was right here, so let's get note. And banjo head was up here, right? Right here? Isn't that right? Shit, no, it was right here, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Um, I have to find that egg. Honeycomb piece. Okay, there's the egg. Okay, so let's get the egg real fast. And what's this? A Jinjo head. Okay, there's the honeycomb piece. So this is the honeycomb piece, I believe. So we got that. And what's this? Hey, the Jinjo head. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, and this one should be Kazuma's head. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Good deal. I got it all. And we got a Jiggy. Ah, I remember where the last jiggy I have to get is. Um, so unfortunately, guys, why I said fuck earlier before I did this is because, like I said, I have to go to another stage to get a move to get into a different area in this game. Unfortunately, I think I have, what, 15 notes? Yeah. Oh, no, I have 13 notes left to get. And unfortunately, those 13 notes are in that area that I can't get to. Which royally sucks on balls. I'm not gonna lie, that's really shitty. <laughs> But, what can you do, you know? Shit. Wish it saved your note score so you didn't have to re-get the notes, but it doesn't. That's what it does in Banjo-Tooie! 
this tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Oh, I don't give a dick. <laughs> there you go. Uh, as you can see, another thing that made me, made me feel... Oh, God. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Just joking. Uh, the thing that was really weird about this is, if you notice, if you go back and watch the footage of him running away, he runs away on top of the water, which makes absolutely no sense. Apparently, that's like Camel Jesus or something like that, because it can just walk away on top of the water. Okay, so... <clears throat> unfortunately, guys, we are going to have to come back here and... Actually, what I can do is I'll come back here next episode and I'll get all the notes except I'll, I'll get all the stuff all the notes except for the stuff that I don't have and um, we will do we'll do it we'll do it like that so you guys don't have to watch me recollect everything because that's just a waste of your effing time wow your best note so far is like 87 or something like that yeah <sighs> thanks bottles I do appreciate it but uh... oh god for Nuffa! Okay, so where are those boots? I'm pretty sure they give you boots to walk across. But as you as you remember, we got uh, I keep getting into like the right side of the camera. Sorry. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, I have to use this. What the hell? Oh yeah. Okay, so what this game does is when you open up a stage, baddies or whatever from the stage. Uh, come out from the stage and then like all of a sudden fill up the area like the surrounding area of um, The surrounding I guess I guess that's the best way to put it like the surrounding area of that stage So uh, as you can see there was a mummy. Oh, there's the fucking boots man They were right there the whole time Stupid, okay, there is something else I need to do though, and that's open up the next stage which uh, honestly I had completely forgotten about uh, I don't know how, but... I mean, actually, you'll see how, probably. But yeah, I need to do it anyway, so I might as well do it in this episode. Ah! Whoa! Fuck off. Thank you, anyways. So we have to go back into Bubble Goop Swamp, and when we go back into Bubble Goop Swamp, we have to transform into, uh, the crocodile. Oh, dude, what the hell? Man, people are just coming at me fucking left and right here. Fuck off! Nope! Don't want it, don't want it. Thank you, anyways. What's weird is I seem to remember... Oh, no, 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 those uh, dragonflies weren't there, were they? No, I don't think they were there. Okay, so what I ended up deciding to do was to just jump cut to out, right outside Bubble Goop Swamp. So what you have to do is you go inside and you transform into the little alligator guy. So as you can see on the alligator guy, I'm jumping around here so I can, you can see it. Um, you transform into the little alligator guy and you come back here. God, I can't see anything. The TV just gets so damn dark. So you come back here to this area, and here you go. Here's a little hidden area. What, that's another thing I really like about this game is they usually do... get these eggs real fast. I have more than enough jiggies to probably like get through the rest of the freaking game. Boom! This episode's gonna be fun. Everybody really, really likes this next stage. If you've heard of Banjo-Kazooie, you've probably... and you've heard of the actual stages in the game, you've probably heard of Freeze Z Peak or... Uh, um... Fuck. Uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Those are probably the- uh, oh yeah, and the- another one that I'm not gonna talk about. So as you can see, there's an area back here that I can't access, which I have to be Banjo-Kazooie to get there, and I think I have to Beak Bash it or some crap like that. So I can't do that yet. But, um, things- so things were missing. Um, that's cool. I can't wait to do that stage. That, that's gonna be next episode, though, and that's where I'm gonna get the new move, and then I'll go back- I'll jump cut back, probably, to, uh, as you can see up here, there's boots, so there's obviously a way for me to get boots and come back here as Banjo-Kazooie. Um, well shit, I might as well do it. Okay, so to access the other area, what you have to do is you have to come up here to like where the entrance of Bubble Goop Swamp is, jump in the right, uh, circle thing. The, the right, I don't know, what the hell is that, that even is? Hollowed out log? It's kind of what it looks like, it's a freaking hollowed out log that's been shoved into the wall. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> That's this game in a nutshell. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you jump in there, grab the boots, and as you can see, we're walking back here now. Which pretty much saves you from uh, walking back in this area and not getting killed. <laughs> and you come back here as Banjo. Jump up here. There we go. Hit that. And I think there's something special back here. Oh my freaking god! So I have to come back to this area as the damn alligator. Fuck! Okay, so I'm back here at the fucking 
stupid ass. I have to be the alligator to fit through this retarded little hole. Okay, so. Come on, get on in there. Get on in there, boy. As you can see, we have a book. Shit of the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book finders bear and bird are? We sure do, but bag lady. What the fuck? Come on, book boy, give us some. What the fuck? Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you it will. Flags, Mr. Cheeto. Hidden in layer, other spell books are. Them you should find. Okay, so um, now there's a there's a cheat that I can put in to uh, get a little blue egg increase when I'm in uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Your question of the day, if you'd like to answer it, is what was your first experience with a platforming game? And this can, you know, obviously go all the way back to like the original Super Mario Brothers or even before that, like I think they had Pitfall and stuff like that on the Atari. I'd really like to know what your first experience was with a platforming game. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm always ready to hear you guys' comments. Have a good one.